A Salem Springs woman killed in a car crash on her way home from work tonight. Her co-worker recalls their last conversation. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jennifer Pignate. And I'm Chad Mira. Our Crystal Martinez joins us live in studio tonight. Crystal, what were the two talking about? Well, Chad and Jennifer, Luann Lancaster says she was ending her shift working at the women's basketball game Thursday night when Teresa Daring walked her out to her car to say goodbye one last time. She said, hey, I'll, if I cluck out before you, I'll wait for you and I'll walk you to your car. Luann Lancaster has worked alongside Teresa Daring for five years. She showed me pictures of her adorable grandnephew that she was so proud of. She talked about how she tried to help people in every way that she could. And I, I told her, yeah, you're a good person. You do. You, you help everyone. The two worked for Landmark Event Staffing Services. You'd likely see them at any Razorback game taking tickets, ushering, or working security. And we walked to our cars and said goodnight, and she said, I'll see you tomorrow night. Around 11 Thursday night, Daring was on her way to her Siloam Springs home when she was killed in a crash on I-49 in Springdale. To know that she was gone in a matter of getting in her little white car and, you know, heading home. Police say the 48-year-old sideswept a semi-trailer and was then hit by another truck from behind. We have lost one of our team members, we have lost one of our sisters, we have lost one of our family members, and, and it's just been a devastating, heartbreaking day. One of Daring's closest co-workers, Kelly Ruff, says she was known for her big heart and even bigger personality. One of my favorite memories is she would call me every day. I got off work at 3, and she called me at 3.05. Ruff says Daring was a huge Razorback fan and made sure people who sat in her section would get only the best experience. She knew a lot of fans and they always asked for her, so it'll be hard. Ruff says the gymnastics meet held Friday night will be dedicated to Daring. It's just going to be hard for a while. I don't know if I was the last person that she earthly talked to, but it just really touched me that, you know, we had that moment before she got in her vehicle and left. We reached out to Daring's family. They aren't ready to talk on camera, but they say they want Daring to be remembered for her selflessness and how she would give the shirt off her back for anyone. Live in studio, Crystal Martinez, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.